I just need this light to go off. This light. I need that to go off. What's going on everybody? Today I have probably the hardest things to diagnose. Nobody ever believes me when they ask me what I hate working on the most and I always say Nissan. It's, it's not even a hesitation, it's Nissan. They don't even finish the sentence. It's Nissan. <laughs> this is a prime example of why. You want to see me get my butt kicked on a car? Bring me a Nissan. They're the worst. But anyways, today I've got a 2018 Nissan Altima with the crash avoidance light on. This little sucker right here. And that's on probably because the door is open. But that little light right there. And I've already got a pre-scan done. Um, I don't actually have my dongle plugged up to the DLC right now. But here's the pre-scan. Engine code. Got intelligent cruise control command value. P1568. A U1001 can communication circuit. And then anti-lock brakes. U1000, HVAC, a sunload sensor. I don't think that could be related at all. And then the Intelligent Cruise Control or ADOS system, U1000-01 electrical malfunction, current code, and nothing else. Okay. I've done everything I can to get these things to clear and I don't know what's wrong with this car I don't understand what could be wrong with this car um, seems like something pretty simple you got can calm issues well okay except for the fact that I can communicate with the modules setting the codes and they just seem like generic codes. The only thing that's not generic is the 1568, the P1568. But if you look that code up, it tells you to diagnose a U1000 first. Let's uh, see what we got going on here. Got the breakout box with Pico leads hooked into 6 and 14 there. And as you can see, this is not plugged up because I'm scoping these. Absolutely perfect signal. Like even if I stop this and go through these things, I do not see anything out of the ordinary at all. Maybe this? But I, I don't think so. Because you always get this too. Like this is basically normal. It's just a different way of like, from my understanding, like a module basically saying I'm done talking. And I'm pretty sure this can be a module saying I'm awake or something. I just don't see anything wrong with this at all. these communication fault codes won't go away. <sighs> okay, so let's start off with the U1001. When ECM is not transmitting or receiving CAN communication signal other than OBD emissions related diagnostics for two seconds or more. We see plenty of activity on the CAN bus. It's definitely not missing for multiple seconds. Possible cause, harness or connectors, CAN communication line is open or shorted. We're definitely not. We've got perfect activity. 
Okay, so let's look at that other code. The P1568, I think is what it was. Yep. Uh, ICC command value. ECM detects a difference between signals from ADOS control unit is out of specified range. Harness or connectors, the CAN communication line is open or shorted, ADOS control unit or ECM. Okay, that's their detection logic. What about diagnostic procedure? Replace ADOS control unit in <laughs> step one. Perform description. Check DTC of ADOS control unit. <laughs> Always perform the ADOS control unit configuration after replacing the ADOS control unit. How does this make sense? There's only a U1000 in that module. Let's see, confirmation procedure. All right here's where if DTC is displayed with DTC U XXXX or one of these P codes, first perform the confirmation procedure for the U codes. So we have a U code. We have a U1000 in the ADOS module and a U1001 in the ECM. So refer to DTC index, okay? And then U1000, okay. Back to ECM is not transmitting or receiving CAN for two seconds. How does this make sense? I can talk to the ECM. I get data from the ECM. This, this is stupid. Nissans are stupid. Okay, so I've got my my VCI hooked back up, and uh, let's just uh, look at this here. So if we go into the ECM, it is pulling it up. These ones always take so long to scan and do anything with. Okay, so here we go. Data, main signal data. We're not, we don't have the engine running or anything, but we got data. Okay, let's crank this thing. I think we got live data. How can this thing be setting a communication fault? Do I just lack an understanding of Nissan? I don't know. All right, so if we go back over here, let's go to U1000 again. And we also have that in the ABS module as well. Actually, let's go. Let's go diagnostic trouble codes, U codes. So U1000. So we have this in the um, ABS module as well. So brake control system, uh, side radar left with ICC. Okay, yes, we have ICC. Okay. So this is all I want you to use console. I don't have console. 
is U1000 detected. Yes. So go to the procedure. This right here is about the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Trouble diagnostic flow chart. Okay, flow chart. Description, receiving vehicle. Interview a customer. Check vehicle condition. Okay. Check CAN system type. Create interview sheet. And then detect the root cause with consult. Inspect, repair, replacement. So interview the customer. Yeah. I'll, uh, check of CAN system type. So it's want us to use this chart and I'm not even a wagon, but I am two wheel drive. I'm the 2.5 liter motor. Um, I could be a CVT, I'm not real sure. I have ABS and I have intelligent key system. So I can either be a two or a four and they've got all the same check marks here. So I don't understand what the differences is in the CAN system type. I'm sure it's a console only thing, but we just go down through this and it's basically, here's the create interview sheet and then detect root cause. Can diagnostic function of consult detects a root cause. So are they telling me I have to have consult to diagnose a U1000 on this car which everything seems to be working perfectly fine other than I've got a light and I mean, this is just, it's ridiculous. People say the German cars are ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Okay, let's go, let's go to a diagram. Let's try that. Let's just look at a diagram. We'll go to OE and information bus, CAN system. Okay, so this is all the modules that I could have, I suppose. So you see ECM, IPDM, TCM, ABS, power steering, DLC, steering angle sensor, TCU, I don't know what the TCU is, combination meter, ADOS control unit, airbag, AV control unit, front air control, AC auto, BCM, then we got side radar, side radar, sonar, and distance sensor and ADOS control unit. I feel like I could talk to all these. I don't have any codes setting with a specific module saying I can't talk to a specific module. It's frustrating. These ones are frustrating. Like I'm pretty close to the point of just like not taking on Nissans. They all, I, I will spend way too much time on every one of them because of stupid stuff like this. Well, I've been processing this for probably an hour or two now, at least. And uh, I even broke down and paid for consult. And consult does not tell me anything different.
than the snap-on scan tool. E like even this symptom bot right here, the snap-on told me that. But nowhere can I find what this means. So, I gave up on all data. I was like, I'm going to pay for Nissan service information. So, electronic service manual, that's what they call it. And still, I only have a U1000. I, I cannot anywhere in here find the symptom bite for this. But from my understanding, what you're supposed to do is look for whatever module is setting that code. So, brakes. So we have this U1000 brakes, and we have with ICC, at least I, th I think we do, we also have side radars, but if you click the description here, it basically tells you the same thing that it does everywhere else. This doesn't point you in any direction at all. You get the same trouble diagnostic flow chart. You, you get nowhere. So let's go down here to driver entertainment. Um, where was it? Cruise control. Okay, so cruise control system ICC. So we got U1000 here, and then we also have. ADOS control unit. So do we go ICC or ADOS? I, I don't know. It, on, uh, quit. on the consult it labels it as both ICC ADOS. Like it's one module. It's so confusing. Like there, there is one thing that I have found on here that I didn't come across on uh, all data. So let's go back over here to the um, right here. If we go to DTC description, this kind of tells that it's ITS communication. So apparently there's two separate communications that we can have. Get back down here. So this one is ITS and then this one is the regular old CAN bus basically. And it tells you to do this laser radar and I can't find this in consult other than under one system but I can't get anything to work in the one system diagnose thing but anyways let's go there's one other thing that I've found interesting um, nope I wish I could just go back like this right here, this little chart, was pretty cool. I do like this chart. This chart's good information. And I've not seen this on all data. It might be there somewhere, but I've not seen it yet. And basically what this does is tells each module and then what data they are transmitting or receiving. So ECM, AC compressor, comp uh, request signal is transmitting that. The IPDM is receiving that. So is the HVAC. Okay. So if we see ICC receive, it receives the accelerator pedal. It receives the throttle position. So I'm kind of looking at things that both ABS and ICC receive pedal signal or that one would transmit and the other two receive. 
So you got right here engine speed, current gear position, but see, nope, no ECM. So I'm, I've went through this list trying to figure out if I can pick out something where those three modules kind of talk and I've still come up with nothing. <laughs> But this is a cool chart. Uh, I could see how this chart could come in handy at some point. So then I started thinking kind of just outside the box, like that symptom bite has got to be an indication of that module not talking to another module, but I can't find any information on that symptom bite. So, just looking at a wiring diagram, let's go over here to this. This is our CAN system wiring diagram. Right here you can see the ADOS control unit. It's kind of off the, uh, the main CAN bus lines here and then it kind of branches out its own circuit. And as you see it comes over here into the side radars and then the sonar, the distance sensor, and then back to the ADOS control unit, which is kind of strange. How does it have two ADOS control units? Like they're numbered B69. I, so I'm not, I'm not sure if this network makes a loop back to itself, maybe? I don't, I don't know. So, I'm kind of wondering if there's something on the loop that isn't working. And that's where I'm kind of headed now. So I found the ADOS control unit in the trunk. So it's pretty easy to get to. It goes back here and unplugs on the inside here. So I unplugged that thing to see what codes I would set and I did set other codes so then I plugged it back up and re-cleared everything got it back to how I had it so I'm looking at this list and thinking what on here could I unplug and try to set a different code and really the front I, I think is the distance sensor um, I might be wrong, but I think it's the distance sensor was kind of the next easiest thing. So I kind of took the bumper loose a little bit and it is down in here, which I know you're not gonna be able to see down in here, but it's, it's right here basically. And I kind of got in there and got this unplugged. And to my surprise, unplugging this did not change my codes. I have the exact same codes. So I feel like I'm kind of on something here with this. So now I'm going to just basically check these wires, make sure these are good, and hopefully find an issue with this. Or we might be dealing with a module bad in here. But Oh man, it's uh, six o'clock, over past six o'clock. I started on this car around four, I, I think. So that's a, a lot of reading and just processing information, trying to come up with something, whereas they could just simply give you a little more information. What's this symptom bite? Zero, one. What does that relate to? <sighs> I don't know. And I feel like if I actually had the console box, I feel like if I clicked this, it would pop up more information. Or maybe that's a, a dealer only thing. I, I don't know, I feel like this would tell me what I need to know, and it doesn't. 
hate Nissans. The worst cars to diagnose. The worst. Give me the Europeans all day long. Apparently I can speak German better than I can speak Japanese. Apparently. I don't know. <laughs> but let me, uh, let me get a diagram of that uh, connector and see if, if I can figure out what those signal wires are, are, which one's power grounds and things like that. Maybe we can come up with something there. So yeah, they call this the distance sensor, the ICC sensor. That is what's in the front of the bumper there. All right, come up with the wiring diagram here for it. And it looks like pin one should be a ground wire and two and three is can lines. And then eight is gonna be some kind of power source, has to be. Not real sure where it gets it, let's see, go to B. So yeah, it gets it from this 10 amp over here. So looks like that is ignition switch or start. So we should have ignition and ground and two can lines. So that gives me kind of a direction, hopefully. So let's see if we can figure these out. Got a, just a little 194 here. And I'm going to say that's one, two, three, and eight. Kind of makes sense there. So. Oh, this side's actually numbered. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And we've got no power, apparently. Interesting. No power. Maybe we're on to something here. Maybe. Let's uh, check my bulb first. Make sure it's not been dropped in blue. Like that. Like I just dropped it. Yep, bulb is good. Bulb is good, so we are on to something. Uh, let me get a jumper wire and figure out which which one I'm missing, power or ground. So I just got me a lead on the positive. And down here, basically just got it connected to one side of my test light bulb. So let's check our ground circuit. And look at that, we have ground. So, is our power shorted, do you think? No. So, I'm hooked to battery power up there and pinned into the power feed. So if this was shorted to ground, this should be lit right now. So, that is not. Let's swap it to, to ground on the battery just to double check things. So, hooked up to ground, still no bulb lit. I think we're getting somewhere. Let's uh, check this fuse now. What was this fuse number? 10 amp fuse number 30 in fuse block JB. I'm not real sure where fuse block JB is on Nissans. All right, so the terminal layout diagram shows um, all the fuses and stuff. And fuse 30, 10 amp, would be one, two, three, the fourth one over, should be between two fives. Okay, and this is in the dash behind this little cover. And the cover says that is electric parts, ignition power. And we do have a 10 amp in there. 
So let's see if uh, we have power. I still have my little bulb connected to battery power out there. So, so that leg has power and that leg has power. Interesting. So we've got power on both legs, but uh, none getting to our sensor out there. Okay. All right, so I feel like we're getting somewhere now. Um, let me see. I don't really want to pull too much of more of this bumper off. Um, but we definitely don't have power getting out here. So I know it goes up through this harness. So right here's our wire and it goes up through this harness. So it has to go up. Let me see. Kind of goes up right into that harness, which I'm suspecting it should be one of these white wires right here. So the red and blue there, that twisted pair, that's my data wires. But this is going up this direction somewhere. So let me try to trace this and see if I can find a connector somewhere. Some kind of relay here. I don't know what that is. Got all these stupid little covers all over everything so you can't see anything. Let's go back to the diagram. See if uh, we can figure something else out with it. Okay. Wiring diagram. So power out goes to B and C. And then B is some kind of junction connector here. So junction connector E09. So let's try the little search box here. Do E09. Nothing. What else could we call this? Junction connector E75. E75. Nothing. And junction. Uh, nothing for a junction connector either. Hmm. We've also got this connector right here. Um, Nissan does give you some pretty good connector views in their diagram. So this E65, where is that going to be? So I'm looking for an E65. E65. Two front end module harness. That almost looks like that is one of the uh, IPDM connectors. Let's see. E65 pin 21. I think I'm reading that correctly. Should be terminal 21. These things don't 
ever tell you what things are, though. <clears throat> I think what I'm going to do to prove theory that I don't have power and that's causing my codes, I may pierce probe into that wire, give it power through a test light bulb and uh, see if my code's clear. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. You're not gonna believe this. I just got so lucky, so unbelievably lucky. Oh my gosh. <sighs> so, I was trying to find a good spot to tap into and uh, this corner, it was taped up. And I'm like, that's a good spot. I can just unravel a little bit of tape and get there. And I was unraveling it and I pulled on the wire. And there it is. That is so, so lucky. This, this harness, like, to me, it, it doesn't look like it's been unwrapped. All this looks factory, and all I did, all, all I was doing was I just pulled this and tore it and started unwrapping it, and then I just kind of pulled on the wire, and she is broke. <sighs> Ain't that something? I don't know if I, the focus too good, but. So we got broke wire in here. <laughs> oh man. So glad I found that. So I'm gonna test that wire, my broke section, make sure I've got power there still. Oh, look at what I've stumbled across here. This apparently was taped up a long time ago. Hmm. Just stripped the wire back, got a touch to my lead, and there we go. There we go. Let me uh, fix this harness and we'll solder all these wires back together. Get this thing plugged back up, and hopefully we'll be in business. All right, got that solder back together and it's plugged up. So, moment of truth. Uh, we'll get to uh, power the car back on and see what happens with our uh, console. Right now we're gonna have all the errors and I'm going to go back, yes, and we'll restart this. So, let's turn key on, okay. And this is probably gonna take a minute because it's Nissan's, Nissan's are slow. Even though the consult code scan is so much faster than every scan tool I've ever used aside from factories. But aftermarket scan tools, Nissan's take forever to scan, not it's consult. The only thing consult does that takes a while is this uh, system call. This does take a few minutes. So we'll see what it says. It's almost done. 95%. Okay, we've already got the ignition switch on, so. Okay, this is current, but past, past. Look at this. Now we show a laser radar. We did not show that before. It's so stupid that the thing does this system scan, like system call. If the module's not there, it just it's just like whatever. Like, why not? Why not show that the car has it, but it's no com. Show me. Show me that it's supposed to be there. That's no com. But 
this is good. This is good right here. Got anything else? Okay. All passed. Okay, let's do an erase. See if the engine ones come back. Look at that. Okay, let's crank it up and see, uh, make sure everything stays off. All right, no light. And that one's because the door is open. Probably won't go out either because the trunk's open. <clears throat> Look at that. That's awesome. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to have a code pop up in the ECU because I've got a charger hooked up. That one. I don't know why it does this after it cranks. I don't get that either. But our light is gone. Let's see. Uh, yes, moving it through the gears. Everything, all the lights are still off. That. Oh, man. So frustrating. Like, Nissans are the most frustrating things to work on. <laughs> you people that complain about Europeans. How do y'all deal with Nissans? I don't I hate it. Every time I see a Nissan come in, I hate it. I'm like, oh my God. But enough of me ranting about how much I hate Nissans. <laughs> Let's uh, finish this video off with a uh, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this. These are what I struggle on, Nissans. <laughs> All y'all think I'm so good or whatever. Now give me a Nissan and I'll show you how, how I struggle bus. This thing is uh, 7 o'clock now, so it's been three hours on this thing because of a cut wire going to a module that it can't just tell me, hey, I have no comm to this module. But anyways, that's it for this one. Um, I am, this is a car lots car, and since that module has possibly been tampered with. Somebody could have moved it or anything. I, I don't know. Since I, I do not know the history, I'm telling them they got to take it to Nissan, have them calibrate that thing, because I don't have ADOS stuff. I'm not that rich. Maybe one day. Maybe one of these days I'll make enough money from YouTube to buy me an ADOS machine. I doubt it, but maybe. Who knows? But anyways, I'm going to send it off to let to the end, let them know it's got to go to Nissan, have that calibrated, uh, let them run through all the calibration of the ADOS stuff. Because anytime you mess with the ADOS stuff, it's got to be calibrated. It's, you've got to know for sure that it's good before you send it. So that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you on the next one.